كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة بالتحدي لا سوى Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm recording my screen once again, as promised, uh, in order to assist you with the task, that, the Cisco task that we're covering this week, which is about configuring wireless security. Okay, so let's begin. Bismillah. First thing we do is we open up the uh, task, the class activity, and as mentioned during the lesson, I already shared with you the uh, Cisco packet tracer file. Okay, I'm presuming you have it installed on your machine, on your system. Again, this tutorial is about, the first part of my tutorial is about supporting you if you have a computer or lap, a laptop, computer PC, or a laptop or a Mac. Uh, the other half of this tutorial will be if you are going to do this on your iPad. Okay, so um, this is it, this is the file, and we're going to go back to our original task, which says yeah, we're going to learn how to configure wireless security. Uh, we're going to exactly actually going to look into creating a home network with a secure wireless router. Okay? So by the end of this tutorial, we should be able to do all these four things here. Items. So let's begin the step one load the packet file. Okay, so bismillah, let us begin. And the first step it asks us to do is to load the uh, .pkt, the packet tracer file. I'm going to find it um, over here. Uh, let me go back. And yeah, this one. No, I got a direct link here. This is the one. Double click on that, and you will find this application opening. And it will take you to the very same. Right. Well, it asks me to log in. And I am in. As you can see, I have two PCs. I have uh, a laptop and then a wireless router and another router, the 1941. I'm going to expand them and move them aside just to have a bit more space and see uh, where everything is. Okay, we're going to go now to our tutorial and it says uh, we've done just that, loaded on our laptop or PC. Uh, if you're using an iPad, uh, skip this step, just watch the second part of my video tutorial and you should be able to uh, follow up on that one. So the first part of my recording is about students who have a PC or a laptop, a Mac as well. Um, so we're going to press the power button. I'm going to go now into the uh, configuration. I'm going to press the uh, power button. So double click on the laptop zero. The wireless um, uh, what? So I'm going to connect now the wireless module, I'm going to remove the Ethernet initially, I'm going to bring the wireless module, and then I'm going to on the laptop. Now as you can see now, uh, now it's connected, you can see now it's connected with the wireless router. Great, so first step is done, okay? Now step two, modify the default password. Click on the wireless router and select GUI, graphical user interface for configuration. Then we're going to go to Administration and Management. So there is my wireless router, GUI. I'm going to go to Administration and then Management. And it says change the password to this. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to replace this with the new one. And notice that uh, the new password has more characters than it actually had. And it's got a combination of lowercase numbers and yeah letters and everything, which is, which is a good practice. Now it says scroll down and press save settings. Done. Okay. I close it, but I might have to go back to it again. So I'm going to move on to step three now. Modify the default SSID name. Okay. And disable the broadcast feature. So click on wireless. We're working with the wireless router again. Clicking on wireless. Uh, and then we're going to go to the uh, SSID name company, which is this bit here, we're going to call it uh, A company. So we're going to remove the default text and replace it with the A company. Okay, those of you who are doing, following my steps, I hope you are at the same level. Um, next, we're going to go to step 3B, select the SSID broadcast and disable it. Well, at the moment, it's enabled, so that's the SSID broadcast, we're going to disable it. 
Now, uh, same settings. Now, what's going to happen, uh, everybody? Well, what's going to happen is, let's just take you back to the network. You see now the network configuration is gone. The wireless connection is gone. This laptop uh, one is no longer connected to the wireless router. And that's because, obviously, it hasn't been configured with a new SSID name. So uh, that's what what's asking me to do here in yellow. All right, then. We're going to move on with step four. Configure WPA2. Now, WPA2 security on the wireless router is one of the highest and the best sort of connections, uh, the best security measures you can take. So we're going to go now into the wireless router, and then we're going to go to wireless, wireless security. So let's do that. Uh, Let's scroll up here. Wireless, wireless security. Let me just zoom in. That's the one. Okay, I found it. And then it says, uh, make sure that you change the security mode from uh, disabled to WPA to personal. Done. Leave it as AES, strongest encryption protocol, and then move on with a, a passphrase, which is the next box below that. And what we're going to do is. Yeah, paste it here. I'm just copying and pasting. You can type, of course. Scroll, scroll down to the bottom of the screen and save settings. As always, every step we do, uh, you know, from the lab, we have to click the save settings option here. Done. Now, configure laptop zero. So we're no longer going to work with the wireless router. I'm going to go to the wireless laptop zero, but in mine it says well, one. I can rename it actually and uh, make it so that it actually connects access of a wireless client okay so we're going to go into uh, laptop one or zero desktop pc wireless so click that one desktop pc wireless this is the feature i mean packet tracer is amazing you can manage all of your network devices nodes at the click of a button and i i'm i'm, I'm hoping that you're enjoying as you click about in, in doing this assignment, this task. When I go to profiles, everyone, let's go back and follow the steps. It says profiles new uh, and then name it. So I'm going to go to profiles, I'm going to go new. I'm going to name this. I'm going to call this, for example, uh, you know, my laptop. I can call it anything really. Okay, so I've got a profile now. I'm going, to go to, uh, I'm going to go to advanced setup. Uh, here in the wireless network name, it says name it as a company. Now, this is the SSID name that we gave to the wireless router. So, this way we should be able to connect with the wireless router. Uh, I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave this as it is. In fact, you can follow up here. It says uh, click. Leave it as it is. Next, and modify the security. I'm going to go next step now. I am in uh, step number six. Modify to WPA2 personal, as always. You can also choose business as well, but uh, personal will do for now. And then enter the pre shared key, which is this one uh, the one that we used for the wireless router. I'm going to paste it here and next then i'm going to scroll down try and save this profile i'm going to see if i can connect now at the moment it's not connected i'm going to see if i can connect to the network it will take a few seconds that's it there we go it, it's got connected now why because the ssid name is configured with the, with the correct one that the wireless router has great all right then so moving on further down close the pc wireless window and open up command prompt so i'm going to close this PC uh, wireless command, and I'm going to open up the uh, CMD. And uh, in here, in order to get the uh, configuration uh, network details of the machine system, in this case it's, it's a laptop, in order to find out the IP address and the MAC address, I need to uh, type in the following IP config space backslash. When you run it, Notice that it's showing me it's got the IP address, but more particularly, I'm interested in this corner here at the bottom, the wireless connection. So I am keen on having uh, the MAC address for this laptop. 
uh, let's see if it lets me copy, no it doesn't, so in which case I'm going to capture my screen, I'm going to open up paint, uh, paste, and I'm going to zoom focus into this one, so I'm going to crop, again, paste, this is what I'm interested in, 0, 0, 9, 0, and so on, the physical map of this. Okay, so let's go back to the lab, it says, uh, exactly, it says take a note of the IP address and map. Um, I'm going to go to step six. Configure the wireless router to support the Mac filter. So we've got the Mac of this laptop, this device, and now we should be able to allow access to this wireless router based on the Mac address uh, of each node. So to do that, I'm going to click on wireless and click on wireless Mac filter and then, yeah, I'm going to go here, wireless Mac filter at the bottom, I'm going to enable and then I'm going to choose this radio button that says permit PCs listed below. Now notice that it's asking, I can put up to 50 PCs, laptops, with the unique Mac address and notice that I made a note of the laptop I call it, I call it my laptop, like laptop number one, which is, I made a note of the MAC address to 0, 0, and 0, and so on. So I'm going to type it here now. The first two options are fine. The first two digits are okay. This one I have to work with, 9, 0. I can just move my window to the right a bit. And then I've got 2B. And then I've got 6, 3. So... You guys might have a different MAC address as you do yours. Uh, and then I've got 50. And then the last one I've got B for down and B for bottom. And that's it. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to save the settings now. Let's go back to the lab. Uh, notice that the last time it was not connected, right? So I've just done that. Uh, save the settings and then reconnect the laptop go back, initially it wasn't connected, right, and now, uh, well it was connected, but uh, now it's connected based on the MAC address, so based on the MAC address. The router here, the wireless router is giving access connection to this laptop because now it also has its MAC address. How to test this? Well, we're going to add, we're in step 7 now everyone, we're going to add a new uh, laptop, uh, and I'm going to pull it from, pick it from here. And there's my second laptop, and this one I'm going to call it, I can rename it as well. Um, I'm going to call this laptop uh, you know, 2, okay? So, laptop 2, there it is, laptop 1, laptop 2. Okay, we're going to follow the same steps, press the power button and so on. So, let's do that. I'm going to go to physical option modules here. I'm going to power off like I did with the first laptop. Remember at the beginning of the lab tutorial? I'm going to drag in the wireless module, put it here, uh, wireless card, and then I'm going to on the laptop. Now, when we did for the laptop one, laptop one here, it, was, it got connected, right? So uh, it's asking you now here why doesn't it get connected? Why, why am I able to connect it? Well, that's because obviously um, at the moment we've enabled in the wireless router, right? We've enabled the, um, all the PCs to be connected to it uh, using the MAC address. But at the moment there's no MAC address here. So therefore the system is not able to, the router is not able to ping it because the MAC address of this laptop is not in the table. Okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next step which is 8. Uh, this one is uh, quite interesting. We are going to uh, disable the remote management wireless router. So check the current state. So we're going to go into uh, wireless router, administration, remote access. Let's do that. Wireless router, administration, uh, admin, over here, and yeah. I'm going to make sure that the remote management is enabled because at the moment it was disabled, so we just made it enabled. 
Now, this PC hacker here, uh, hacker PC is sitting there, it could be somebody that is already connected with the company, maybe a template doesn't quite get on well with, with the management, uh, or someone who's really uh, one of those bad hackers wearing a black hat, one of those who wants to harm, sabotage a company, or someone who's just trying to make, you know, um, trying to see how far he or she can get, you know, trying and, and, and hack the, the wireless router. So what, you, what we're going to do in, way, in order to test it is this. So we're going to select that, which we just done. I'm going to go to desktop, and uh, I'm going to, from the piece, from the hacker PC, on the web browser, not the PC wireless, which is right next to the web browser, uh, and I'm going to see if I can type the IP address of the wireless router and see if I can gain access to that. I already pasted it there. When I click on it, Voila! It's bringing me to a new window uh, that would presumably, uh, if I enter the correct admin password um, credentials, it should give me access to the whole uh, wireless router. It should be, uh, you know, quite scary for an employee to gain access to your um, uh, network wireless setup. Uh, and uh, now imagine that mostly, normally, the uh, username for administration or is admin. I'm going to put that. Imagine he knew what the password was, he or she knew what the password was, which is the one that we've entered at step uh, number two, which is this one. I'm going to paste it there now. I'm going to paste it there and click OK. And see, I gain access to the wireless router from within the building or you know, he's wired connected, so he should be in the premises of the company, but that's the scary part about IT managers enabling their sort of remote connection for their wireless router because things can go faulty after working hours. So what he or she might do is to support and try and see if they can troubleshoot and ping the router network from, from at work from home. And in doing that, they are, they get exposed to hackers. So if yeah, so th this is where he is. Okay, he's exactly watching the screen that uh, if I am the IT manager, um, same screen, you can see here. I click on the wireless router and uh, I could see that and this is the hacker and you can see the same window as you can see here. This is the hacker PC, this is the uh, home at the wireless router and one has gained access to remote, access, uh, remote connection. Um, if we go and disable uh, the remote access, uh, then obviously he won't be able to do that. He won't be able to do that. Uh, administration, and I disable this, and see if I can log in again from the hacker to see web browser and PC wireless. If I paste the uh, IP address of the wireless router, and see if I can gain access to click and go. Now notice that I get this error message that I'm not, uh, I'm not I can't uh, have, uh, I'm not pinging it. I get a, uh, a th uh, error message back thrown at me saying host name is not recognized, it's not resolved. Yeah, okay. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, now the other half of my video tutorial will be about doing the same class activity in the same lab but using your iPad. Welcome everybody. So right now I'm sharing my iPad screen. We're starting with step one, which says load the 5.1.2.6 packet tracer. Now of course I don't have packet tracer installed or I have, but if you do not have, um, you can go to your self-service. If not there, like mine not work, you can go to App Store. So I'm deleting my Active Trace, which I have installed already. And I'm going to go to App Store. I'm going to type here Packet Tracer. You can do the same if you do not have it installed still. The mobile version. So I'm going to click on Get, Install, Download first. I'm going to fast forward here everybody because obviously I don't want to keep waiting for this. Uh, I'm still in the 
step one, downloading it. And you can log in with guest account, even though I have a, an, an account with Cisco. So I'm going to skip this part. You can log in with guest account for now. So click on new load network. And over here, what I want you to do is scroll down and highlight this wireless um, POOP -P -P, uh, model. And it will open up the ready made network topology. So next what we're going to do is after we open up with the wireless PPPOE, which is this one, we're going to add step two is adding a new laptop. And to do that I have to remove the Ethernet just like I did with my uh, laptop solution. And then I'm on in the laptop again. I'm going to go and check now in the network to put it down. You can see that actually the laptop is connected with the wireless laptop, which was a, a minute ago. Good. So step one done. Now step two, I'm going to go to the wireless router and se select the uh, desktop and graphical user interface. I'm going to go into uh, administration and management, yes. Over here, I need to type in uh, the new password, which is AC company. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah. And same thing here. Imagine I'm typing the same password. You can put the same password if you want. I think for quick mode, I typed in something else. I didn't want to keep going back and forward to check exactly what the password was. Okay, moving on. Now it says uh, save the changes after you do the password. And uh, done. Now we are in step three. Step three of our tutorial, of our lab. Here we're going to change the SSID name and disable it, uh, the broadcast feature. So I'm going into wireless setting and over here I'm going to change it to a company, just like the lab was telling, the step 3A. And then next I'm going to disable SSID. going to leave the same as it is. Yeah, just check the disable button. Okay. And now when I go into my uh, network, you can see that, yeah, I save the changes. When I go into my network now, the connection is gone, right? So when they ask uh, why, well, uh, as you know, the laptop hasn't been configured with a new uh, SSID name, that's why. Well. So, moving on with step four. Uh, this time, we're going to go into our wireless security setting. And we're going to change the uh, security mode to WPA2. I just did that. AES. And then next is we're going to... Uh, configure the passphrase, which in this case is ACOM Wi-Fi. I think, I, yeah, I put initially 1 to 8, but then I removed it, so uh, I, I went with actually password. Again, you can put something, anything if you wish, but it's best to keep it to follow the tutorial, the steps. Okay. All right, then, so we are now in step 4B. After I type this, I'm going to play, apply changes and close. Yeah, I'm going to remove the keyboard. There was a couple of F I had to do. Apply changes and close this feature. I'm going to go now to step five. In step five, what we have to do is add a new laptop. Uh, go back to the laptop, laptop one, laptop zero, whatever is showing you, laptop zero in this case. And we're going to go and play around, make it as a wireless client. I'm going to configure it so that it's a wireless client. So to do that, right, in the laptop version we went to profile, but here it's not because it's an iPad mobile version. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go into, um, we're going to scroll down and find out where is the SSID name and change that to a company. So from the SSID default name, yes. We're making our laptop also in the same SSID domain with the wireless router. Now, the next bit, again, 
you might not necessarily follow it the same as in the uh, tutorial here, that the lab task, because it's referring to the laptop version, and in iPad it's slightly different, but uh, the next thing we're going to do is change the, drop down the uh, authentication to WPA to S2K to uh, PSK, which is the uh, secure mode of authentication. Then we're going to write the key phrase. We're going to get the key phrase from um, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, lab. Yeah, the step uh, step 5.7, which is a comp Wi-Fi. Okay. So I'm going to type that there. Okay, I'm nearly done. And. Um, Okay, and done. Now, I'm going to try and connect my uh, network, but uh, at the moment it is not connecting. I need to apply the changes. I think what I've done here is, what I've done here is, uh, as you notice, there is a, that it's not connecting, so there is an issue. The wireless configuration here is okay, but I need to go back. The laptop wireless configuration is okay, as the lab is showing, but the, my suspicion is that the wireless router, the SSID, let me go back to wireless settings. Yeah, the spelling wrong here, that's right. So I have to spell this uh, correct, so it matches the same uh, SSID uh, network name. And if I save the changes and I go now to the network, I should be able. Yes, it's connected. Okay, brilliant. So now we move on to the next step, which is going into the command line of our. Um, which is step number 5B, going to the command line uh, of our wireless laptop. And to do that, I need to, you know, the, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to find out the configuration the details of, of this node, including the IP address and the MAC physical address. So the way we do that is we type ipconfig space backslash all, we press enter, and I capture the screen here so I can make a record of my uh, MAC address. Okay, so I have to save all my photos and now uh, having them three of them open, I'm going to go now to step six, which is configuring the wireless router uh, to support the MAC filtering option. So, with my MAC of my laptop, now of course it's connected already. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the wireless MAC filtering for the wireless router. I'm going to enable it and choose the allow PC uh, that is in the list. And right now, I'm going to add the laptop, uh, laptop 1 MAC address in the table, in the MAC address list of allowed PCs. Okay, it might take a few minutes, a few seconds to type all this up, but I'm speeding these through so you can see the final type up MAC address, which I took from the uh, screenshot a little earlier from the laptop one, the wireless laptop. I'm entering the MAC address of the laptop into the uh, router's MAC address list, so that it, it is in the list of permitted PCs access uh, the network. Okay, that's done. Now apply changes closed. Notice that still the two, the laptop and the wireless are connected. The connection, the connection hasn't been uh, removed. Next, we are in step seven. Everybody, we're going to test this. We're going to test this. We're going to add a new laptop here. I'm going to call it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it by default. Uh, laptop. Zero on the left. I'm going to call it laptop one. So notice here the MAC address now has changed. It's the same like in the one in the screenshot which I got earlier. 
just showing you that the wise configuration is matching with the wireless uh, router. And so I'm in step seven now, and uh, I'm going to add a new another laptop, which is the six, and we're going to follow the same step like in step two, where uh, like in step one rather, where we added the wireless card. So new laptop, and I'm try and go to the physical mode and uh, remove the Ethernet card and put a wireless card in so click on physical power off the laptop remove the ethernet uh, I powered it on again which won't let me yeah uh, so I need to power off the laptop put the wireless card power on again and go back to the network topology and see if it's connected can you see it's actually not connected why because uh, obviously uh, as you know what we just did now was that the MAC address of this laptop is not entered in the list of uh, allowed MAC addresses. Thank you for watching everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my session. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.